In this video, we're going to take a look at how the Akixi server connects and interacts with a hosted telephony platform. So let's start by taking a closer look at each server. The hosted telephony platform servers are made up of subcomponents called enterprises, with each server being able to hold multiple enterprises. A typical enterprise would represent a single end user's entire telephony estate, although this is not always the case, but it's a good way to think about it. Enterprises then have subcomponents called enterprise groups. An enterprise group is where the information attaining to that end user's telephony estate would be held. And of course, it is possible to have multiple enterprise groups within a single enterprise. But for this example, to begin with, we're just going to focus on a single enterprise group. So let's have a look at the Akixi server. The first component we need to start building the Akixi instance is the telephony server. The telephony server component is what connects the Akixi instance to a specific hosted telephony platform. So the next component we need is a partition. You are able to have multiple partitions within a telephony server, but for this example we're just going to focus on one. Within a Kixi, partitions are also referred to as sites, as this is where you would apply your site license and where a site connection fee is applied. So for this example, we're going to apply an Akixi 2000 site license to this partition. Once we've set the service level, we can then look at connecting the partition. Partitions connect to either the enterprise or enterprise groups. For this example, we're going to look at connecting the partition directly to the enterprise. And you do this by simply entering the enterprise ID into the partition. Once you've connected the partition to the enterprise, you can then look at bringing all those devices and entities you want to monitor across onto a Kixi. Once you've connected the partition, you then need to synchronise the two. When you synchronise the partition with the enterprise, you have the option of just bringing non-billable entities or all entities within that enterprise group across onto the Akixi partition for monitoring. And of course, once the monitored entities are on the partition, the relevant subscription level for that site will then be applied to each billable item. Then of course, once you've got everything that you want to monitor on Akixi, you can start applying Akixi supervisors. As I mentioned before, it's possible to have multiple enterprise groups within a single enterprise. When this is the case, because the partition is connected directly with the entire enterprise, it's possible to monitor all entities within that enterprise within the same partition. And you can see from the second enterprise group, I've chosen only to monitor the three extensions and not include the ACD agent. With this being an Akixi 2000 site, I could if I want, but the customer didn't want to monitor them, so we're not bothering. So moving on to connecting partitions with enterprise groups. So again, we'll start by applying a site license and we'll connect the partition directly to the enterprise group this time. And this time when synchronized, only entities from within the connected enterprise group will come across to the partition. In instances where there's multiple enterprise groups within the same enterprise, it's possible to set up multiple partitions to monitor each enterprise group. In this instance, I'm going to apply an Akixi 1000 site license, connect the partition to the second enterprise group and synchronize. But of course, this time with it only being an Akixi 1000, it's not going to bring any information regarding any ACD agents across. Now we've looked at connecting partitions to enterprises and enterprise groups, let's look at how to connect to both from within the same telephony server. Let's start by creating a partition. I'm going to use this first partition to connect to the entire enterprise which is going to allow me to monitor all entities within that enterprise. However, because I'm only interested in reporting historically, I'm going to apply an Akixi Lite site license. So in exactly the same way as we did before, we connect the partition to the enterprise and synchronize. And you'll see that's brought all the entities from all enterprise groups across into this partition and applied the relevant subscription level for that site. And again, because this is an Akixi Lite site, no ACD information has come across. We can now create the second partition, and this partition is going to connect directly to the bottom enterprise group. So exactly as we did before, apply a site license, make the connection, and synchronize. The thing to bear in mind for this configuration is, for each partition that a device is being monitored on, it will require a subscription for that partition. So for example, all the devices on the bottom enterprise group are being monitored on the Akixi Lite partition, as well as the Akixi 2000 partition, which means each device will require two subscriptions, one Lite and one 2000. 
So the last example we're going to have a look at is connecting multiple enterprises into the same telephony server, which we do in exactly the same way we've just looked at, but it's just combining those variations to be more flexible in how we want to be able to restrict reporting permissions. So let's quickly build our Akixi instance. We're going to connect the first partition at enterprise level to the very top enterprise and synchronize, bring everything across, and then the second partition at enterprise group. We're going to build another partition at enterprise group again into the second enterprise group, synchronize and bring everything across. And then our fourth partition is going to connect again at enterprise level to the bottom enterprise, synchronizing and bringing everything within that enterprise across. So we've now got two partitions synchronizing at enterprise level and a further three partitions synchronizing at enterprise group level.